Hi, I'm going to Comic Con today and I thought I would show you my outfit. Here is can't really see, but yeah. I'm going as Hank Pliskin from Escape from New York. This dude, I have an eye patch I'm gonna put on like that. And I have my leather jacket. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go meet Spencer Charnas from Ice Nine Kills and get him to sign my book. I'm freaking out. I'm really excited. And I'm really excited to go and look at all the comic books. So yeah, I'll keep you updated when I get there. Bye. and kind of haul of comic-con of what it was like this year so me and my dad got there like at like 12 45 ish and it opened at one and when we got in there we had to wait in line for a while there was probably at least two to three thousand people in front of us which was insane because last year we went on a friday and there was like no one there so we could just walk straight into the expo part of it comic-con and yeah, we had to wait and we were all like mind blown, but I think it had to do with like all of the guests that were there this year because there was a lot of really big guests there this year. So yeah, the first thing I went and did was I went and stood in line to get Spencer Charnas' autograph from Ice Nine Kills and he signed my book and he was actually really surprised that I brought my book to be signed. He's like, oh, you bought the book. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it was really cool. I'm like, I loved it. And we started talking about horror movies. He asked me what my favorite horror movie was and I dread that question because... I watch a lot of movies and it's really hard just to narrow down what my favorite movies are. I've narrowed it down to like what my favorite repeat movies are because it's kind of hard just to pick like an ultimate favorite for me because I love so many movies. But he was a really cool dude. He gave me high fives and asked me how many times I'd seen them and when I saw them last and I'm like, oh, I saw you at the Metallica St. Louis show and he was like, oh, you went both nights? I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh, you're a rock star. And I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm like, that was really cool. <laughs> so yeah, he was a really cool dude. And I'm glad that he signed my book. So then we just kind of walked, me and my dad just kind of walked around for like a long time because <laughs> we just wanted to make sure that we could get like every place we want. So we looked at a lot of the comics and I was looking at a lot of like the Funko Pops, but there really weren't that many comic kind of booths there this year. Usually there's a lot of, like, I'm a big fan of graphic novels. I kind of prefer those to comics just because I like reading it all in one go and there really weren't that many people selling them. Like last year there was a whole bunch but there was only like one dude that had like a booth of graphic novels. But, so I didn't get any comics this year and neither did my dad but we uh, I went I saw this one booth and they basically took horror movies and like cryptids monsters and like all this and made them super cute and animated and I bought a bunch of his stickers. Like, I bought this one that was just all a bunch of, like, cryptids. So it's, like, the Mothman and Bigfoot. And then I got this one that was all, like, Godzilla characters. Then I got a Mothman one, which I thought was really funny because he had a lot of Mothman stuff. And you don't see Mothman stuff that often besides, like, you know, the movie and, you know, the books and people that do podcasts on it. But Mothman's a really cool story, actually. And I got this one that's got a whole classic and it's a VHS tape on it, which I thought was really funny. And then there was a Supernatural booth. And for those of you that don't know, I am a major Supernatural fan. Like, I love that show. I've seen all the seasons and I'm contemplating rewatching them all. But I told my dad, I'm like, we have to come back because if I stay here, I'm going to buy everything and I cannot buy everything. So the first thing I bought, I bought this necklace and it intrigued me because I don't remember seeing this in the show. And it's got a scorpion on it, which I thought was cool. And it's in Latin. And I am I bought it because it just kind of intrigued me. Because, like I said, I don't remember ever seeing this in the show. And I'm going to have to, like, look up this and determine what it is. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of strange to me. But the main thing I bought from that booth 
was I bought a blanket because they had a bunch of embroidered stuff. So they had like flannels that were embroidered with a, you know, their wording symbol and like just like their initials that they like scratch on the table and like their uh, their bunker there we go and then they had like ones that were like squirrels and mooses because that's what Carly of course calls Sam and Dean but the one I got hold on if I can find where the thing's at so this is the blanket I got it's purple which I also love because I love purple but it's got Dean's Impala on it and it's got baby because that's what he calls his Impala and I'm just like I need that I'm like I need that really bad because I needed a new blanket so yeah that was a really fun purchase and I'm really excited about that so that's really all I bought um my dad got this really cool Ghostbusters shirt that says like raise a cult bookstore on it because that's the bookstore that Dan Aykroyd works in We'd never seen that before, so we're like, we should get that. So my dad bought that, and I'm definitely going to be stealing it from him because it's a really cool looking shirt. And we bought my brother a Godzilla t-shirt because my brother's a major fan of Godzilla's, of like all the Godzilla movies. So we got him a really cool Godzilla shirt. We yeah, had there's not a lot that happened. There were some really cool booths. I was looking at all like the authors that were there and all like the comic book artists and um comic book writers there they were there's a lot of cool stuff there's a lot of really awesome artwork there like there always is though um I dressed up as Snake Plissken who is played by Kirk Russell in Escape from New York of course and three people knew who I was which was cool one dude scared the crap out of me because he was dressed up as Michael Myers and he came up behind me and just kind of whispered like Snake Plissken and I'm like and then I turned around and he was like right there and I was like oh yeah I'm like cool he's like can I take a picture of you I'm like yeah sure and then he yeah, took a picture of me, so that was kind of funny. And then there was this one dude that was wearing a Kirk Russell shirt, and we both just kind of looked at each other at the same time, and we both just started laughing because we were <laughs> pointing at each other because it was a funny coincidence. But yeah, I wore an eye patch, and I had to take it off because I couldn't see, like, at all. Like, my dad, it was on this eye, and so my dad kept walking on this side of me, and I literally could not see him at all, and so I would just be walking around like I didn't, I probably was walking around like an idiot, because I could not see at all. So I had to take it off, because, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. But, overall, it was a really fun experience. I love going to Comic-Con, I love seeing all the booths, and I love seeing, you know, people dressed up and going to get glimpses of different celebrities that are by the ones I'm standing in because I I saw John Bernthal who plays the Punisher and I'm a major fan of John Bernthal which was really cool and I saw Adrian Bardot which was super awesome and Keith David I'm trying to think who else I saw I saw I saw the dude that was in Scream that gets killed in the third one that's like the movie fanatic I always forget his name but the dude that like just knows everything about horror movies and always just like oh you can't go out there because you're gonna get killed you know he dies in the third one, and I cannot remember his name, but yeah, he was next to Spencer Charnas, and they're buddies, because Spencer Charnas of Ice Nine Kills does his own horror convention, usually in Massachusetts, because that's where he's from, and I really want to go, because they always seem awesome, but yeah, so I love going to conventions, I hope to go, there's another one called Crypticon that's in Kansas City in June, and I hope I get to go to it, but I think I won't be here for it. But I've always wanted to go to that one since I found out. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Go to Comic-Con if you've never gone to one. They're relatively cheap to go to and it's a lot of fun. I mean, you see lots of <laughs> interesting things there, but it always is a blast. So yeah, I can't wait to go next year and see who's all going to be there. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.